Okay, welcome back to another <clears throat> complete website builder tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build uh, kind of a basic um, grid system for e commerce. Um, I've done this in a, a, a previous website that I've shown you, maybe in the first, like the original video, I showed an e commerce website that I set up. Uh, you can actually use um, some content blocks that are already inside of Mobilize in order to create this. So let me show you how to do that uh, real quickly. So let's go down and find a good place. And what we're going to add is this content section here. You could do this one or this one. It doesn't matter. This one just has the pictures already, the images showing. So we'll place that in to our website page. Okay. And <clears throat> I'm going to keep this stuff Actually, let's take that away for now, and then I'll show you what it looks like when you add it in later for product titles and descriptions. So let's just start with this. Um, with this block, we can choose up to six columns. So you can see that you can do six columns across here. Um, every column you add is going to change the size of the image. So you can see the images are significantly bigger with the grid system that's just two across. <clears throat> and this is all uh, responsive. So even if you have six across, and you start to go down to uh, mobile size, you can see at a tablet size, it goes down to two. Then when you get down to a phone size, then it's going to be just stacked on top of each other. So it doesn't matter how many of these you line up, really, or what it looks like on the desktop. <clears throat> it's going to be responsive when you get down to the mobile version. So let's start with three, like a good enough number. And what you do is we just want to add a product image. So whatever your product image is, you can put here. And I'm just going to take this phone. And uh, you would want to, if you're linking to a different page or if you're linking to um, kind of a buy now button uh, or a script you could put that in here um, make sure you always put an alt tag so if the image does not show up for some reason people can still read and see what the image is supposed to be uh, when it's there and then you can also put a title tag so when the person hovers over it with their mouse then the title tag will pop up and show these are also good for search engine optimization so if you put in keywords, so for this one it would be like a Nexus, whatever, but you would put um, maybe the brand name, uh, whatever interesting thing about it that you think people might search for, uh, you should put that into the title and the alt tag. All right, so we select OK, and then now we have a basic product image with a button. Okay, so let's just do that for all three of these. And the beautiful part about this grid system is that it's already set up inside of Mobirize uh, to be responsive. Uh, so you don't have to go into the code editor at all. You can actually set this up all on your own. And I've covered before in a comment uh, like some of the different things that you can use as far as kind of a buy now button. Um, PayPal has one, Shopify has one, and there are several other like shopping cart type services. Uh, that offer a link and then when you come down here and you add a link to this button you can insert the link here and when someone clicks the button it goes straight to that page that allows them to make a purchase so if you have PayPal which many people use PayPal to, uh, to do their shopping cart um, they actually offer that as a, a part of their free account so you can look into that all right, so we can go down here and we can make a change. So you can type, you know, buy or let's say you want to send the user to a page that has more information. Then you can put something like details. And then it would go to another page where they would be able to purchase and learn more, see reviews, that kind of thing. Uh, or maybe maybe it's just a learn more button and they can learn more about the phone. All right, so here's your basic setup. Like I said, this is going to be mobile responsive. 
example here we've got our three across on a tablet and here you know you can see each one with their button now if you want to um, make a more full grid all you have to do is come and add another block so really it's that basic and that easy and now you have a grid you can set these two uh, containers so you could have like a featured section up here with two or three uh, where the images are bigger and then you could have uh, more products down here and you can actually um, choose for this to be a different size so you can see where you'd have kind of featured products and then you have smaller products down here um, which would be kind of nice to have on a website and if you go back in here to our original grid and then you add in a title then it puts a nice little title underneath here something like that whatever you want to call this product you could actually do services in here as well so not just products but services and then if you wanted to add in a brief description uh, you would just turn on the show captions parameter and then now you have a kind of a brief description of this of this product as well so let's just get like that One of the things that you want to remember is for everything to line up really well with the buttons and things, uh, these things need to all be even. So the images need to be the same height, same size, and if you add any text or product um, kind of things, product uh, titles, then it's going to make it go down. So we just kind of make this go down to the next line you can see that now everything's not lining up well so um, you have to you have to kind of make everything the same size or the same uh, line length but you have a lot of room to work with here otherwise it's not all going to line up perfectly you can align this to the middle which might be nice so now down to a tablet you can still see it and down to mobile got a nice image product image product one you can buy it so that is how that's the easy way to create an e-commerce product grid uh, using MobiRise if you have any questions about this particular technique or um, you know using this with a shopping cart in the uh, in the comments, I'll reference a couple of the shopping cart kind of one-click buttons that I've talked about in the past with different people uh, on this channel. And then you can see at least the Shopify and you can see the PayPal uh, links to those places where you can, you know, when you click the button, it adds it to a cart and it just allows you to make a purchase right then and there. So giving you a little bit more flexibility and uh, added functionality and kind of beautifying and simplifying the shopping cart process as well all right well thank you for uh, for the subscriber who gave me that that question many of the tutorial videos that I do come from uh, you guys who are subscribing and you're asking questions and you're commenting on the videos uh, I really appreciate it because it helps me to know kind of what direction to go uh, I have things that I think are interesting about MobiRise, but I also want to help you to solve problems that you're having uh, creating things inside of MobiRise. Um, one of the more advanced things that you could do is to build a bootstrap grid with um, MobiRise, and then that would, that would mean that you need to get into the code uh, editor and then make some changes or build out a bootstrap grid, and maybe I can do that to create a more complex uh, type of grid system but for just a bare bones e-commerce I want to put up six products and sell them this is a really great uh, way to do that inside of MobiRise and you don't have to do any special coding with HTML or CSS or anything um, 
If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. If you have any suggestions for more videos, you can leave them in the comments here. Or there's a discussion uh, comment section on the channel itself. Uh, make sure you subscribe. That way when I post new videos, you'll get a, an email that lets you know that there's a new video uh, teaching you how to do more things with MopiRise. I appreciate everyone who's subscri subscribed so far. Uh, it's really great to see that I'm making some kind of difference uh, by helping you uh, do some little detail things that make your website better. Uh, if you have any websites that you've completed because you've gone through uh, some of my videos, uh, if you would email those to me, that'd be great. That way I can showcase them uh, both on YouTube and on my website, uh, Complete Website Builder Tutorial website, which is at website or yeah, website tutorial highwaywebconsulting.com. And uh, you can also follow me on Twitter. So my handle on Twitter is at Brian Hafferkamp, H A F E R K A M P. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.